Hi, boys and girls. You know, in math this week, we've been practicing counting up and down from zero to five. So if I count up, it's one, two, three, four, and then five. And we notice that when you count up and add one more cube, it gets one cube taller and it kind of makes a stair step effect. If you count backwards, it goes down. You could actually turn it around and it would look like this, five, four, three, two, one, and then zero. Today you have a worksheet that you can open in Notability. Now Notability might be new for some of you. If it is, um, you may need mom and dad to help you open your file. But when you click on the worksheet, there's a little box at the top in the right, top right corner that has a square and an arrow. Touch that and then you'll see some things on top, some apps, and you can slide back and forth until you find Notability. It looks like a pencil with a little microphone on top. Tap that and it'll ask if you want to import it. You may need an adult's help for this for the first time or two. Here's what your worksheet looks like when you get it into Notability. On top, it says, color the stones to show the order of numbers zero five through five. So are there any stones in this vase? No, this is what number? Zero. Color this stone, color this. You're just gonna color the stones. And that way you can kind of see, just like I do with my cubes, how one more looks. They're kind of even across here, right? And then one more, and then even one more here. Now down here on the bottom, you're gonna make your own towers. So you will draw five, you will draw four, you will draw three, and you're gonna make them look pretty similar, but just one less. Above each number, you're going to make that many um, cubes. You could also do the vases with the stones, but you need to have five items, four items, three items, so that you can make a picture that you can see those stairs on. So you might draw this above five. You might draw this above four. This above three this above two, this above one, and on zero, you'll draw nothing, right? On the back, we're practicing our numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five. But now that you've practiced it so many times, they don't think that you need something to trace anymore. So today, you'll do a practice one around and around just like an O. Now I've made the number zero and you'll do all of those. Then you'll do the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, and the fives. When you're finished, you do not need to turn this in. It's just for practice today. But let's give our best work and do our best job on it. Hope you have a great day.